Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, don't forget to click the subscribe button if you want more videos about coding interviews. So in this video, we'll be solving the problem lead code range sum query. Let's get started. Let's imagine we have a bunch of numbers and these numbers are all in one line, one after the other. And the task here is to find the total sum of all the numbers between two points, left and right. For example, let's say we want to find the sum of the numbers between the second number, which is two, and the fourth number, which is four. So so the total here will be 2 plus 3 plus 4 which equals to 9. So as the details the problem look easy but the tricky part here is that we need to find the sum without having to add them up one by one. So to solve this problem we're going to use a technique called prefix sum or cumulative sum but the question how do we know that this question going to be the best one to solve it. So first we check if the question asks us to perform repeated range queries in a fixed array. Means that the value and the array are not changing and the question is about computing a sum of sub arrays. So in this case, the best way to answer efficiently to the queries and to reduce the space complexity is to use the prefix sum or cumulative sum technique. So as you can see that from the details question, you can easily choose the best technique to solve the problem in an efficient way. So what do we mean by prefix sum or cumulative sum? The prefix sum is an efficient algorithm that's going to help us to find the sum of sequence of numbers and it's work by keeping a list of totals so far where each number shows the sum of all the numbers after up to that point. Let's take an example. Let's say we have this input array and we call the sum range method on the object instance to compute the sum of the element in range 0 to 3. The first thing we need to do is to create an array or cache. So as we process each element in the array nums, the cache or the array allows us to update the partial sum efficiently. And when we encounter a new number, we simply add it to the previous partial sum and we update the corresponding element in the array or the cache. So the reason we create the cache array with the length of the input nums plus one is because we want to be able to handle the case where we need to find the sum of the enter array. Then we set all the elements in the cache to be zero. So this process is more fastened than recomputing each time the, when we counter a new number all the partial sums. Then we'll loop throughout the array of nums and each time we update the cache array. So for each number at index i in the array nums, we add the num, the current num to the previous element in the cache array and store the result in the current element in the cache array. So for example, when we're going to reach the index 2, which have the number 3, we will add it to the previous sum in the cache, and we're going to store it in the cache with the value 1, and we keep repeating the same process until we reach the end of the array nums. So at the end, we'll have a cache array that stores all the cumulative sum of the element in the input array up to each index. I should have easily call the sum range to calculate the sum of element in the range 0 to 3 index and we are going to easily take the cumulative sum of the element up to index 3 which is minus 4 minus the cumulative sum of the element up to index 0 which is in this case 0 and we'll have a result of minus 4 which is the sum of the element in the range 0 to index 3. So the time complexity for the solution using prefix sum or cumulative sum method is often where n is the number of the element in the input array and the space complexity is as well often since we create a cache array of size of the length of the input array plus one. That's it guys. So let's jump at coding the solution. So we'll start by initializing. So we'll start by initializing a cache array of size of the length of the input array nums plus one. Then we'll loop over the input array nums and we calculate the prefix sum of the nums and store it in the cache array. So that was for the nth method. For the sum range method that takes the left index and the right index as a parameter, we're going to return the element in the cache at the index right plus 1 minus the element in the cache at index left. And that's how we're going to return the sum of element in the input nums from left to right. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.